Hello and welcome back to another video. Now, today what we're going to talk about is a, another remake uh, scenario. It is nowadays part and parcel for old video games to be remade. There seems to also, along with these games being remade, to be consistent rumors that other games are going to be remade, other classics that people really want to see or, or have some serious deep love for, and then these companies understand that, obviously. And, um... You know, we get these consistent ideas that games are going to be remade, the rumors are going to come and swell, everything happens. Now the question with that becomes, what is the next game that is going to be remade? Now we obviously know the next game to be released, um, from what I'm aware of, is the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is part one of the whole game. It's very um, going to be very long, apparently. But um, So that's the next actual game we know, but what about the rumors? Now... Uh, Resident Evil 3. Now, uh, I'm just going to start this off by saying with the uh, success of Resident Evil 2, and I'm pretty sure that it left shelves in a hurry, and from what I can see, did incredibly well uh, when they were selling it and when selling out. It did incredibly well. Uh, the rumor mill began to spin. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. When's that one going to come out? What's going to happen? That's the next game that Capcom should remake from the ground up. And that mill is still still spinning with different groups speculating that it could occur after the next Resident Evil game from Capcom is released. Now we're going to look at today at a, an article about the uh, Resident Evil 3 remake, the possibility, uh, when it may even come out. So um, Let's get into that. I'm just going to start with the title, by the way. The title is, if you can see it on screen here, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Remake Might Release Sooner Than You Think. So, obviously with this, we're getting this idea that we should get hyped. Uh, we should really be excited. It is going to come out, or it's possibly going to come out, from what I can tell, uh, a lot sooner than anybody is actually sure. And I feel like the speculation is after the next game comes out, because why would Capcom really shoot itself in the foot by saying, hey, we're going to release this game, um, but we have this one coming out as well so you could buy that but uh, just this one's coming out soon too so let's get into the article uh here it goes. The new, the, the big new idea that Capcom brought to the table in 1999's Resident Evil 3 Nemesis was the Nemesis itself. The titular foe was an all but invincible colossus of mutated flesh with a rocket launcher for an arm and a real bad attitude. Not knowing when or where he was going to burst through a wall and attack you made for an intense survival horror experience. So it's all too appropriate that Capcom Resident Evil 3 Remake is strongly rumoured to surprise us all with a release in the not too distant future. It's something that, uh, by the way, I'm sure that we're all incredibly keen for, or at least people that are uh, keen on the Resident Evil franchise, because I know it has a very large following, and to be fair with you, it's a great set of games. I actually also enjoyed the movies, which a lot of people didn't really find were great, but that was, you know, that was me. Uh, and I can see that this is definitely something that, that Capcom has to be thinking about, especially since, you know, we've gotten these HD remakes of 4 through 6, and of uh, 1 and the Origins game, uh, which I'm assuming are selling pretty well, okay? Especially since Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake, came out. Uh, but I digress. Let's continue with the article. Uh, this project has been rumoured ever since the Resident Evil 2 remake landed in early 2019 to unanimous praise and record-breaking sales. Now, multiple news sources are revealing that they've gotten word that its sequel has been secretly in development for quite a while and could arrive sooner than we think. The reason it, has been it hasn't been officially announced yet, apparently, is because Capcom wants to keep focus on Project Resistance for the moment. This is their Resident Evil co-op multiplayer game set for release in early 2020. It looks like a fun time, especially in the way a team of players can face off against each other, master, uh, another mastermind player, who can put monsters in their path and even directly control them. Now, to be fair with you, by the way, that sounds like a great idea on paper. I just hope that it's not um, destined to fail. I, I really do. It sounds like a great uh, game idea but we've seen things I mean seen other companies that try and put in new ideas and they just don't work and the game sells poorly and then they blame that for their terrible ideas not working uh, now again I'm not saying that this is destined to fail by the way um, but I will say that this doesn't seem really interest me personally um, it doesn't sound like this has some single player campaign and to me that's a bit of a swing and a miss I mean every game I think to be fair with you aside from the ones that are obviously on Online only play like you know Apex Legends and Fortnite. I think that if you're going to get a, a home release game, especially one that I would assume is going to have its own disc, should have a single player campaign mode, uh, a, a storyline that we're going to follow. Now, just so we're all aware, by the way.
way. That does not mean that this game won't be good. Just that's, I just want to get that out there that I'm saying that now. Uh, the, de- the game, it has the potential to be great. Sounds like it could be a great online game. And the world is definitely moving toward online only. The only problem I have with that is that it scares me. It's like, to be fair with you, for a lot of these companies, online only is a great cash grab. They can put in stuff and they can keep making money from the same thing consistently. And... Um, you know, we don't even get a single-player story sometimes. Uh, so, again, I think that we always need a single-player option, a single-player portion for a game to get a uh, true allure, okay? that's the, To me, that's the, the thing that really brings people into a game. It really gets you to immerse with the game and with the story and love the characters that you are playing as. Um, again, that being said, I have no real clue what the, the Project Resistance is going to be. Um... But uh, let's get into the next portion of the article here. Uh, Resident Evil 3 clocks in at about 6 hours to beat, which is a bit short for a full price title. Hopefully they can expand it out a bit for this new take on the game. Regardless, you can expect an announcement sometime after Project Resistance hits shelves in early 2020. And I will be definitely 100% honest with you guys here, 6 hours definitely sounds short. Now, I'm saying, I'm just so we're, I, I think that they can definitely pad it out. You can put in new stuff, new ways to explore, new anything. They could do stuff like that. The thing is, hardcore fans, people that are purists will probably not like this uh, to, to pad out a game or to make it longer than it should be, especially if they're just going to add stuff to add stuff. Now, th- this that being said, right, Capcom are the guys who, the people who brought this game to us. So if anyone should know the lore and everything about this story, they should be the ones to do it. So what I would say is if they do expand the story and they make what I'm hoping a great extra story, let's say a nine hour game or a 10 hour game even, right? And then they have an online feature. Fine. Online feature, if, especially if Project Resistance works, this online feature idea could be another thing that they will use to pad out the game or to at least give people more than just a six to 10 hour experience. And again, that extra four hours is my speculation. It's nothing official, nothing confirmed. Um, but like I said, I don't think that if, if, if it's not, in there and done with purpose and done correctly hardcore fans of the series and of the franchise which is the same thing i don't know why i said it two different ways they're gonna hate that because purists love things to be the way they were when they were first made and they might dislike that completely however i think that for a new generation of gamers which there are a lot of pretty much every day they would actually enjoy it if it does really well especially considering the uh, resident evil 2 game the remake i'm sure that that did not just sell to the old school purists i'm sure i'm sure that it sold to these new people these new gamers and now there are a whole new generation of people that are in love with the resident evil franchise so this has the chance to be uh, a great a great game uh, it has the potential to have some uh, expanded story that is in there and hopefully hopefully it's written right and this is the thing that it needs to be done it needs to be written um, with the fan base in mind with a new fan base in mind and basically to honor the story that it was originally okay and uh, again this depends however it's written all depends on how fans react to it okay and you can i guess never really be sure that fans are going to love something or hate something until it gets out there so I'm looking forward to a uh, Resident Evil 3 remake. I think that it definitely should happen, considering we have pretty much every other game that has been remade or put into HD uh, in the franchise on PS4 especially, so this uh, Nemesis needs to be on PS4, just so we're all aware that's where I'm at. I want to collect them all on that system um, up until till now, I guess. Um, so, you know, I guess... <laughs> Whatever happens with this, there's going to be controversy no matter what. Uh, it's unavoidable at this point. Everything, everything has some sort of controversy. So um, either way, if we do get this game, the only question that I'm going to put uh, to you guys, if you're still listening to me, Babble, is do you think that this is going to sell as well as Resident Evil 2? Will it do better than Resident Evil 2? Or will it do worse? Or should Capcom just give in, give up, and move forward into another uh, series of games? Anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep you for too much longer. That is it for me and for the video if you enjoyed please make sure that you click the subscribe button click that like button let me know that you enjoyed it down in the comments below please leave uh your comment in regard to whether or not uh, resident evil 2 is the last remake or if if it will do um if resident evil 3 will do better than resident evil 2 uh As always, guys, once you step away from the uh, computer screen you're using to watch this or however you are watching me or listening to me, once you step away from this video, please make sure to spread some peace, spread some love, and as always, spread that positivity. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.